I'm a beat face girl in a beat face world. Life and makeup, it's contagious. You should press subscribe, you'll see me all the time. You should do it, it's free, you should use it. Okay guys, so I think since the very start of my videos, I started doing videos in February. And I have gotten a million requests for Barbie. Usually my requests for Barbie coincide with my requests for Nicki Minaj. I already have, actually, my very first video that I ever posted was a remake of Nicki Minaj. But, um, you can use this for either one, Nicki Minaj or Barbie. So, if you guys like this look, I know so many of you asked for it. I hope I didn't let you down. Here it is, and if you care to learn how I did it, I hope you'll stay tuned. Okay, guys, I've started this look by concealing my eyebrows, and I did that with spirit gum and scar wax. If you need to see a tutorial on that, I do have a video where I conceal my eyebrows with a glue stick, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube, um to show you how to do the method that I did with the, the scar wax and the spirit gum. And this is a really full coverage foundation, which will help us achieve that perfect face. Okay guys, I'm back and I have one eyebrow on. Barbie's eyebrows are very thin and have an arch to them. This one's not perfect, but we're gonna go in and use the concealer trick. So I'm going to start right about here. I'm using Espresso from MAC. Barbie has blonde hair but has dark brows and that boys and girls is the way it should be. This is what happens sometimes when you're recording in front of your window. Now that the brows are on, I'm going to take a very super, super light concealer. And I'm just going to take that and line right under the brow just to give it a real crisp, perfect look. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now taking a rectangular flat brush, I'm going to just fan that light color outwards. You see I'm taking the color up pretty far and I'm going to work it all the way across. Adding more if I need to do so. And take it all the way into the center and in the middle. And part of this is another lesson in contouring and highlighting. Your brow bone sticks out further, and that's why we're adding light to it. Just going in with my finger to smooth it out a little bit. And I'm also going to bring that down the areas that we put the concealer I'm going to take Soft Elker, which is a paint pot from MAC, and put that all over my lid. We are looking awfully crazy right now. I'm going to take my color in MAC's Studio Fix, Fix, which is a very, very thick powder. And I'm going to put that all over where we just lightened up. I'm going to take the lightest pink in my Coastal Scents palette. This color right here. I'm putting that right under my brow. On both sides. And then I'm going to work it down. And I want to take, it's called Pink Opal. And I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I'm gonna get it right in this inner corner as well. And taking 
this darker purpley pink from my Coastal Scents 88 palette. I am going to put that right in my crease here. Blend it up into our pink. Gonna touch up that inner corner right there with that um, pink opal. And taking a very dark purple, this dark purple right here, and a very tiny little brush. I'm gonna keep my eye open and follow that crease in my eye, making a line. I'm doing that all the way across. And I'm kind of blending that in a little bit. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Keep the eye open and follow the crease that you have in your eye. And then I'm gonna take this deep, like purpley blue, and I'm gonna go right over top of that. And doing the same on the other eye. Do I look like Barbie yet? Huh. The sun is going crazy. It's going up. It seems like it's going up, going down, going up, going down. So now it's darker. Sorry. I'm going to again take that super light foundation just so we can have that extra fake plasticky look. And I'm going to put that all under my eyes. Carrying that out. And also down onto my cheeks and I'm also going to take this and put it down my nose and work it up in between my brows I look like a total whack job I know it I'm gonna set this with my Mac prep and prime this is a translucent translucent powder which will keep it from creasing or falling into the cracks of our eyes and right down my nose as well between my eyebrows and then I'm going to go over that <coughs> with my flesh colored powder this is my studio fix again Barbie has a perfect nose so that's why we put the white stripe down our nose to make it appear thinner and I'm just going to darken it up by using saddle which is kind of a maybe two three shades darker than me so I'm going to just draw a line right in here and by making this appear darker I'm making this appear lighter I'm kind of working it in with my finger and again I'm going to go over that with my flesh colored powder if you want to see a video about slenderizing your nose and your cheeks, I do have a video for that. It's called Contouring and Highlighting. Alright, and we can put our eyeliner on now. I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Gel Liner. And I can't tell if Barbie has a point or not. So um, she does have that very almond-shaped eye. So I am going to put a little bit of a point. My camera cut off and I didn't realize it, so... I'm trying to escape this shadow that's right here. Uh, Alright, what I've done is taken Max pencil. It's a white pencil called Fascinating. And I lined my waterline with that. This area right in here. And because white pencil doesn't really um, stay on, um, it's, I, it's just going to be there, I guess. Um, I took NYX's white eyeshadow and set it with a brush and just put that over top of it, which will help um, make the white shadow last a little bit longer. Then I put the same purple that we initially put in our crease, and I put that right on my lash line. See, you can see. And now I'm going to dip into pink opal, the same color that we put on our lid and up through here. And I'm going to put that right there. You see, I didn't take the purple all the way over. 
I'm going to take Gingerly. And this is going to be my contour. I want my contour to be super light. See how it's like, it's like barely there. I'm doing the same on the other side. All right, lashes are on. And those are just the top lashes. The 50th anniversary picture that I'm looking at, Barbie has these really strong, bold lashes on. And you guys know I love lashes, so... It was only right. And by the way, these are 61s. And now I'm going to take some 42s. And you see that I cut the one in half. So I want to take the lash and the longer side of the lash, no matter which way you're putting it on, top or bottom, the longer side of the lash, meaning this side, should always go towards the outside of the eye. Going under my lashes and stick that right there. I'm gonna put some mascara on my top lash and my bottom lash. This will help to blend your natural lash into your false lash. Okay guys, and for a blush, ugh, there's all kinds of hair in my eyes. Ugh. Now for a blush, I'm going to take Koi Girl. Super pink, cute, and I'm gonna friggin' load it on to the balls of my cheeks. Okay, and I'm going to put a highlight. I'm using Soft and Gentle from MAC, which is a beautiful bronzer. Everybody should have this. It's great. I'm gonna put that right under my eye down the bridge of my nose just for an extra highlight. All right, and for the very bobby plastic pink, I'm going to take Please Me from MAC, which is super pink. And if you do not have very full lips, I highly suggest that you over exaggerate and draw on your lips um, and make it obvious, like, don't be scared that it's going to look totally fake. Because um, Barbie didn't have full lips like that. She was drawing them on. All right, and over top of it, I'm going to use NYC's 316B. It's called Blossom. This is a drugstore brand. And because my skin is so dark, and my hair is so blonde. I feel like I look like Donatella Versace. And I'm going to put on this pink headband. Blah. Okay, and I'm going to put this plasticky, super pink lip gloss on. Just to seal the deal. So that completes your Barbie look. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's a pretty look. Without concealing your eyebrows, even though they're okay they're not like great but you could wear this look I have something very similar to it already if you guys want to see something that is pretty close to it that is um definitely nighttime but pretty wearable look up my Justin Bieber video and I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something from it and um can make the most of it. There are links down here to my website where you can find my blog, where you can find the products that I've used. There's also a link to my Twitter, which I really hope you guys follow me on. And there's a link to my Facebook, and I hope we can be friends. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys really soon. Thanks. Bye.